Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Ring Lamb Tape, a book review on Warligan by Winston Graham. I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I have not watched the television program yet. Um, I now am at the point where I can watch the older one because it encapsulates the first four books, but I have not yet tuned into the new one, so I urge you, please do not spoil me. Uh, but this book review will have no spoilers about this book. Um, well, it will have a little bit of spoilers, but I'll let you know um, at the end of this video. But there will be spoilers um, from the first three books potentially, which are Ross Poldark, Demelza, and Jeremy Poldark, and I have reviews on all three of those novels, and I'll link them in the down bar. Um, and basically, if you're new to my book reviews or just need a refresher, I write my books in five different categories. Plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading, very soon, five to five, not so soon, one out of five. So basically, this book takes place pretty much not directly after, but pretty much close to the last day. This takes place from 1792 to 1793. And also, um, as far as I know, also, um, if you're watching the show, each, like the first two books of the first season, the next two books are the next season. So I'm good to go to watch the first two seasons of the new one, but I have yet to do so. So basically, I'm just going to read the two little blurbs on the back so I can refresh myself because I do not want to accidentally spoil something. So it says, Ross plunges into a highly speculative mining venture, which threatens not only his family's financial security, but also his turbulent marriage to Demelza. When Ross and Elizabeth's old attraction rekindles, Demelza retaliates by becoming dangerously involved with a handsome Scottish cavalry officer. With bankruptcy an increasingly real possibility, the Poldarks seem to be facing disaster on all the fronts. So I really enjoyed this book. Now, if you watch my Jeremy Poldark review, which was the third book in the series, I was very, very disappointed in that book. I just thought it recycled the plots from the book too. I was not here for it. But this book, I was kind of worried. I was like, oh no, like, just don't want that to happen. And this book exceeded my expectations. I absolutely adored this book. So if you read the third book or you watched my review and you read that and you kind of felt the same way, don't worry about the fourth book. The fourth book is so much better and it reinvigorated my love for this series. So plot, I gave a five to five. I really love these books. This book, because I think because Jeremy Poldark was such a letdown, this one looks so much better. Um, I loved everything that happened in this book. There was a few things that were questionable. I did not like um, certain things that Ross did uh, in the book. I found them quite gross, but then also you got to remember the time period that we're dealing with. It's not like Outlander where you have somebody that's from the 60s, um, which is still like a time period that has its difficulties going back to the 1700s. This is just this time period. So even though I don't condone the behavior, the behavior was more acceptable at that time. So I did not give points off for that because it is historical. And even though these events are made up, this was stuff that happened, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to get more into that near the end of the, this video, though. So in case you're wondering kind of what I'm alluding to, in case you didn't catch that, then you will see. Um, characters give a 4.5 out of 5. Now, Ross, I was not pleased with in this book. I just did not like him. He had a few bad actions I didn't like, and yeah, it's a time period, but also his character wasn't impressing me as it usually does. I love Demelza's character in this book. I found she has continually throughout the book gone from more shy, timid, passive character to being a more passionate, uh, confident character, which I really do enjoy, especially because she is the, like, the lead female protagonist. I loved that we got more Dwight and Caroline, who were in the last book, um, those two side characters I really do enjoy. Um, I enjoy seeing like the little people you know around town. Um, I enjoy hearing about Francis and Elizabeth. Um, George Warligan obviously was a part of this book being the title, his, which is his last name. Um, and that whole family. Like I really enjoy the characters for the most part. It was Ross that I gave it a point off. And just his character alone might not seem enough to do that, but his character I just did not like in this book. And I thought that all the other characters were much stronger than him. Also, we got to hear more about Ver Verity, and she is Francis's sister and one of my favorite characters in this series, and she's not in it enough anymore because in the last book, as you know, or it was the second book, she was married to Andrew, and she's living a life far away from, um, forgetting where they live, but, you know, far away from them. Um, and I'm really happy about an update on her life. Cover, I give a 3.5 to 5. I really love this brooch and this sunset and stuff, but then I don't like this like reddish hue color. It's not my favorite. I guess action changes. I'm going to give it a four out of five because it's not horrible. I just like, I think the red kind of washed out. Like if I had a purple and this brooch with the red, I feel like it would complement it better, but it's not horrible, but it's not my favorite. 
So Spence, I give a five to five. I really want to know what was going to happen. This book has so many t twists and turns with all the different perspectives. You get lots of different interesting storylines, which definitely all delivered in this book. And overall, I get the book of five of five. This is definitely one that like Jeremy Poldark would be like, I maybe read if I was going to reread this for time's sake, because the series is quite long. I'd probably go Ross Poldark, Demelza, and then go to this book and skip Jeremy Poldark. Like I'd still read it. But like, if we're talking hypothetically here, I think you could just skip it and go to this book. Um, and like Wikipedia, Jeremy Poldark and save yourself some of the time because a lot of it is recreated storylines kind of from the so now we're getting book. into discussion, a territory where there'll be spoilers. So I have two quotes from this novel. One of them is a quote from a scene that I really enjoyed. And the other one is just a quote in general I really enjoyed. So this quote comes from Demelza and it's on page 282 in my edition. And it says, I don't think you should need to say that whether for my comfort or no. Having a husband, it seems to me, is a small matter like going to church. Either you trust in something or you do not. If you do not, then there's no benefit in going to church at all, is there? But if you do believe in him, then you've no excuse to be asking for proofs all the time. And I really like that. Not like applicable to my situation, but in general, when I think of trusting people, that was a really good quote. And that's one I really want to write down um, just because it is true. Like if you go to church, you believe so you don't have to ask and be like, is God, re like, I'm just using God as an example. I know there's very many different types of church, but I'm just, you know, is God real? Um, and then you, um, it's like, you keep asking, but it's like, if you're going and you're going every week, you know, in your heart that you believe. So why do you need to ask for proof when you have trust and belief in that person? And I just really liked that. I might be simplifying relationships, but I think it's just a generally good quote. And the next quote, um, basically, uh, comes from the part where Ross has been cheating and hurting um, Demelza, not physically hurting her, but emotionally hurting her. Um, important distinction. And he was like raped Elizabeth, like horrible actions he's doing. And I know it's a time period. It's still horrible. I don't really excuse it, but it is a time period. So it was not as much stigma around as the time as bad as that is. To, as bad as that is to say, that's why I did not give the book a rating off because it is being historically accurate to things that did happen but these aren't real people so obviously we don't know what goes on in their lives but that wasn't socially acceptable I'd say but it wasn't stigma like you couldn't I don't think it was I don't know how it was kind of legally dealt with there but yeah not pleasant to read about but it is a time period and even though I don't excuse that behavior I have to remember it's historical fiction if that makes sense it's kind of like the thing with Outlander with him hitting uh, or punishing uh Claire it's kind of like the same thing it's the time period even though it's not excusable reading it nowadays um and I really liked how Demelza kind of was kind of trying to get her own groove back she was you know going out and Ross kind of accused her of throwing herself at the first guy that came after her and she's like no Ross it was actually the fourth and I was like yes Demelza here for it um and that was one of my favorite parts and that's when I was like yes Demelza like great character love that um, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. This has been my review on Warligan by Winston Graham. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.